How to create a coloring book to publish on Amazon KDP. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a coloring book using Canva for free to publish on Amazon KDP. So let's get into it. First off, you're going to go on kdp.amazon.com and over here, you're going to choose the size of your book. So um, let's just say we're going with six by nine inches and then you're going to select the number of pages that you want. So um, for a coloring book, I think a decent amount would be like 30 pages or something like that. And make sure that you have at least 25 pages because if your book is less than 25 pages, Amazon is not going to let you publish it. So make sure it's 25 pages or more. Next up, you have your paper color. You're going to go with white. I would suggest white uh, unless you're making a sketchbook. Uh, then I would just say go for white. Cream color is not going to look that good. And once you do that, you're going to click on download the cover template. Now, this is going to be a zip file and you're going to extract that. And what that basically is going to be is a image of a book template. It's going to be like a size guide for you to use on Canva. So once you have done that, you're going to head on over to Canva and on Canva, this is their homepage on the right side. You can see this custom size. You're going to click on that and uh, it's going to be selected in pixels. So make sure to change that into inches. And once you've done that, you're going to select the width of your book or your canvas or your cover page. Now, the width of your book is going to be, you know, the front and the back. Then you're going to add the thickness of your spine and then you're going to add the bleed. The bleed is basically the edges that fold over, but make sure you do add them and design them because you don't want your book to be, you know, white on the ends. That looks very bad. So make sure to add the bleed into your width. So for my book, that's six inches. It's going to be six into six, which is 12. Then you're going to add the spine, which is 2.9. It's going to vary depending on the number of pages that you add. And then you have the bleed, which is 1.25. So that's like a total of 12.254. Yeah, that's the width. And then the height is just the bleed plus the height. It, you know, obviously doesn't account for a spine or anything. So that's going to be 9.25. The bleed is always to 5 inches. So just keep that in mind whenever you're creating a book cover. And you're going to click on create new design. Now, once you have done that, you're going to be starting off with a blank canvas and for someone, I would just suggest that you don't use a absolute blank canvas. You actually upload the template. So what you're going to do is the initial template. You're just going to upload it, extend it and design, you know, make it semi transparent, translucent and design over it. So what you're going to do is make it like this. Then you're going to add your background image. So let's just say this is our book cover and you're going to add a central page. I'm used to making these so I can uh, wing it without using the guide. But for someone that's starting off, I would suggest that you make everything semi translucent so you actually know what you're doing and what you're designing. I have made a couple of these now, so I really don't need any guidelines. I'm just going to start off and create the cover page. And then we're going to get on into the main, most important part which are the coloring pages and the coloring designs, how you're going to get those. So let's just finish this up, place it over there. Then we're going to resize it, remove that bottom text. So this is just your basic kind of average looking uh, cover page. So that's just to guide you guys on how to create the initial cover page. Now, moving on to your actual coloring book pages, the coloring book pages are obviously going to be six inches. So the width on that is going to be six inches and then you're going to account for the bleed because, you know, the edge where the book is binded. That's where the bleed for the cover, you know, the internal pages actually is. So you're going to account for that. And that's going to be 6.25. And then you're going to go with your height, which is obviously 9.25. And you're going to click on create new design. And now you have your blank empty page. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on elements on Canva on the left. You can see it. And then you're going to click on, let's just say we're making a monster coloring book. So you're going to click on monster and you can see these really cute little images appear. Make sure they're vector images. So 
vector images are basically images without a background and you you might be wondering these are colored little cartoons how am i going to make a coloring book well what you're going to do is let's just select this one here now once you select him you're even going to get more recommendations of uh similar looking items and you're going to extend it like this and you can see the colors on the top left over here you're just going to select that and you're going to keep on select each one of them and make them white now this one doesn't have any outlines so we're going to discard it we're going to go back to these we're going to take a look at them once more and make sure there's some with outlines so you want to make sure that your little monsters have outlines now we're gonna i don't think this has a outline either we're gonna keep on looking it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error but that's all right i think this is gonna be perfect you're just gonna click on white you're gonna make it all white so over here now you have a empty nice little coloring monster so you're just gonna place it like this and you can even turn it a bit gray if you think the initial lines are too harsh but i would recommend going for black because they usually these are designed for kids and kids really prefer brighter colors so you're just gonna do that and next up you're gonna click on add page and you're gonna keep on adding that so you can see i clicked on this monster and now i have more recommendations i'm gonna click on see all and it's gonna suggest me similar looking monsters so you're just gonna add them like that place it you can add multiple on a single page so what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna place a background on this one and i'm just gonna click on lines background and i'm gonna take a look at the different lines mm, something that is easy to color for kids so this looks good yeah i'm gonna extend this and then I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to send it back. And then you can see this is really going to make the cartoon pop off. I'm just going to make it a bit larger so it's not overwhelming by the lines. And now we have just created this super different looking page which isn't, you know, basic or anything like that. And obviously you can change the color of the lines and you can just, you know, adjust it according to whatever thickness you might want so you can just extend or decrease the size of the image and so on and so forth you're going to keep on creating your pages so i just added another page i'm going to add these lines in that and these are white and i can't change the color of these lines so i'm just going to skip on yeah, these look good so you can't even see them they're white but what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color to black and we have this really dynamic kind of abstract look and then after that, we're going to go on back to elements. We're going to go back to monsters. We're going to go into graphics. I'm going to select any of these that you like. So this looks very cute and interesting. You can actually, for a page that is very complicated, add a few monsters to make it look a bit more pro, you could say. So to differentiate the different lines i'm just gonna do this and like that we have another cute little monster now we're gonna add some more to this page click on this like so i'm gonna add some more i think this even though it's ah uh, no i'm just gonna keep on adding some monsters i like them more i'm actually gonna flip this one and Let's make these two face each other. That's going to look very interesting. Once I have done that, I'm going to select on color. I'm going to make it white. I'm going to whitewash the monsters like so. And now both of these slimes are facing each other. And now I'm just going to copy this ghost and paste it. And then I'm going to flip it so it's facing each other. And that's going to really add a different dynamic to our coloring book and this is how easy it is to design your coloring book using canva once you have added all of your pages and designed them all you're just going to click on download at the top right and 
from there you're just going to download it as a pdf and publish it on amazon kdp so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to create your coloring book for free using canva and i'll catch you guys in the next video